Hi, everyone, and welcome to Who to a Curve. And today, uh, again, Zach, or as we know, Free, was supposed to join us. However, there was a glitch in our recording, and our original recording does not include him. So instead, I'm just going to redo it, and this is where you have me now. So one of the topics that we did speak about, and you got to excuse me because I'm going to wing this topic because he was kind of like the expert on this more than I am. So it's about J. Mor J. Morant, uh, Morant, who uh, plays for the NBA, and you know his pictures as of lately on Instagram, showing him with different type of guns. And the latest one was uh, he was in the car, right? And he was flashing a gun. So, I mean, I have no qualm with him doing that, which is cool. However, I just think that if you're in a position and that he is in where he's making money and he's like one of the future stars of the NBA and people look up to him. Um, he should be weary of what he displays on his Instagram. Why? Because people are looking up to him. Unless, of course, you're going to be like a Tupac who straight up says, uh, you know what? I'm not here to be anybody's role model. He's doing himself. If you're going to come out and say that, that's fine because you said that from the get go. You're a gangster and this is what you want to do. But to my understanding, you're really not. But you're displaying all this good stuff. So my thing is, you know, I get it. You got suspended. Um, what is the NBA going to be prepared to do for this? Why? Because it's easy to suspend young players. These guys just came from, you know, depending where they live, depending on where they came from, out there from the hood, this is what they saw, right? So before being a basketball player, they were playing street ball, right? And this is what they did. And they ran around and, uh, you know, they ran around, they ran around with their own little clicks. So what what do we know? What does the NBA have to do? The NBA has to, it, I think it's going beyond just suspending somebody for time when they don't know any better. You know, you, you're grabbing all these young kids from the street, throwing them in college. They're taking all these easy courses, which, you know what, going to college, even though they're easy courses, they're still advanced courses to anything, I mean, compared to anything else. So, you know, going to college is an accomplishment. However, you're taking these kids at a young age who come from inner cities, playing basketball on the street, hanging out with gangs all day, or hanging around, maybe they're not in a gang, but they're hanging around with other people that are, right? And other people are influencing them with that. Instead of just suspending them, going forward, why don't we, or why don't you as a business, uh, because remember, you are a business and that is your business, these NBA players, right? And they represent you. So why isn't the NBA coaching them as they come in, maybe some type of classes on how they have to act or how they shouldn't act, how they should leave things behind? Because remember what happened to the NFL with Hernandez? Hernandez was the big, I mean, he was a real deal gangster. He was a killer, plain and simple. But you know what? He came from the hood. He didn't know any better, right? He started making millions. He was a great tight end. But he came from an area and he came from gangs. And that's just the way it was. Nobody coached him how to do differently. So I believe that instead of like later on chastising these people from what they're doing, let's coach them from the beginning on what they have to do and what they shouldn't do. Because at this point in time, you know, just suspending them and then hoping that they don't do it anymore is not cool. Because you know what? We're not teaching them. They're not teaching them anything. So, John Morant, stop putting videos of guns because you're losing money. Not only are you losing money, you're also showing, showing the wrong messages to kids who look up to you or who watch you play and who think you're a great person. That you probably are a great person, but you're not displaying that, okay? The street stays in the street, but you can't bring the street to work because NBA is your work. Get it? So stop doing that. And, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll, you know, you'll get that contract back from Nike. You know, when I hear Nike pulled out your sneakers and stuff like that, you're losing money all over the place for something that's dumb. Like you don't have to show guns. If you have guns, that's fine. Keep them in your closet. Keep them for yourself. Don't show people what you got. Thanks.